Hey and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. In this video, we're gonna learn how to set up the GoXLR on your Stream Deck. If you're lucky enough to have both a GoXLR with an XLR microphone and also a Stream Deck to help control your stream and all the other devices that you may be using, for example, Key Light Airs and Philips Hue and all the other stuff like Twitch and so on, then awesome. That means you're in great shape from a hardware point of view, but you may wanna also be able to interact between the devices. And luckily in 2020, the GoXLR was updated to allow integration with the Stream Deck. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can install that onto the Stream Deck device, and that'll then allow you to use the Stream Deck to control the Go XLR. Really, really dead simple. Should be a fairly short video, this. If you do find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of Stream Deck and Twitch and Discord and all kinds of videos that you may be interested in. Check the playlists. Also, come say hi at twitch.tv forward slash Machine Dana if you fancy just hanging out. Without further ado, let's get into this. So first things first, we're gonna just check that the Stream Deck and the GoXLR are both up to date. To do this within the Stream Deck, we need to check in the cog on the right hand side here. There's a software version here we can check for updates. I'm not sure what version it was that was updated. This is quite a new version here. Don't think I've got any more. I'm fully up to date here. Just make sure you've got the newest version and then you'll be able to access that integration. Now within the GoXLR software, within the system tab here, we're gonna look for the software download, software updates here, devices up to date. So once we've got those two things out, with, out of the way, we know that the two pieces of software Software can talk to each other because they're updated. Next, as you can see on the right hand side here, I've already got the GoXLR app installed. You may already have this installed if you've updated both pieces of software, but just check in the three dots in the top right hand corner that it is actually visible because if that's somehow clicked off like that, you will not see it. Now, even if after you've tried that, you still don't see it, you then need to locate the file and do an installation. The default location is C drive backslash program files 86. TC Helicon backslash GoXLR. I'll link this in the description below. This is the default location. However, if you've chosen to install this in a different drive, you're going to have to search for that location. As we can see, though, within this folder for the GoXLR, there is a TC Helicon.goXLR file, which is modified here, which is a Stream Deck plugin. You just need to double click this plugin and allow it to install to the Stream Deck device. Can't be installed on the machine. The custom action is already installed. I'm getting this message here because it's already been installed on my Stream Deck. So once you've installed the GoXLR app on the Stream Deck, you've only got two options so far. Maybe they'll develop this further in the future. I don't know. First of all, you've got a GoXLR profile change. We can drag this onto whatever folder you want to. This just allows you to give a title to a profile name on the button. For some reason, I've had trouble actually getting this to link to the profiles and select my profile, but I'm probably doing something really simply wrong here. Or I might just need to restart the both apps or something like that. But all this is is a profile switcher, and this just switches to the different profiles that you might have within the GoXLR app. Now you might be wondering why is that useful? The thing is that the microphone settings that you have in the GoXLR are global settings. I think the mixer settings are also global as well. Lighting is not global, it's set to a particular profile. So if you wanted lighting changes easily from the button, you could toggle to the profile to different lighting if you've configured different profiles uh, differently for different lighting. I think the routing as well is also set to the profile. So if you have specific profile routing for audio to different channels to do different things, on one profile to the other. For example, if you want to need a profile that does have music to your stream, but no music for yourself, and then sw switch it back to a different profile, you can have that here. But there is another way you can do that, and I'll show you that in a second. So that's just a cool way of being able to switch to different profiles. If you've got the larger GoXLR as well, I believe that the sampling, the audio samplings that you can choose to have on the GoXLR are also set to the profile. So it just gives you a wider array of options and setting sampling to profiles. So that's literally a straightforward profile switcher. This second one here is a GoXLR routine table change and as the name suggests within the GoXLR from the stream deck you're able to change some routing in this table here now if you don't know what this routing table is just to briefly explain it it's a matrix of all the different inputs versus the outputs so for example a microphone is an input and then a microphone can output itself to my headset if I click this button if I don't want this clicked then I will not hear myself if I want it clicked then I will hear my own microphone and that's what this table does people use this in a number of different ways for example chat into your headset or not chat from discord 
into your broadcast stream mix. You may not want Discord, your stream users, to hear the chat from Discord, in which case you could turn it off from the broadcast stream mix or have it on within your headset. Another application that I've used a lot, I play a lot of Rust, and when I get smashed over the head with a human, I like to be able to hear them for the first few seconds before they run up to me, smash me over the head and kill me. It's really difficult to do that when my music is also playing because I also want to satisfy the viewers on my stream who want to listen to some ambient music by watching me get my head smashed in. So whenever I'm playing Rust, I will turn off the music routing to my own headphones so I can hear people running up to me. But the broadcast stream mix can still hear that, which means they can just chill to the music while I'm, you know, like harvesting wood and stuff. My streams are pretty interesting, okay? So what this button does is it allows me to select an input. It takes a second to update. For example, the music input and then select an output, for example, to the headphones. And I just want to toggle it on and off. Now what this will do, it will toggle the music on and off to my headset whenever I press that button, which is much more convenient than opening up the GoXLR whilst you're streaming and having to do that same process. It only cuts out maybe 10 or 20 seconds, but it's still a lot more convenient to do it that way. I'm sure you guys have come up with way more interesting and creative ways of using that integration between the Stream Deck and the GoXLR than I can. Please drop your comments below if you've got any good ideas there because I definitely want to steal them. If you did find this useful, check out all the other GoXLR and Stream Deck videos that I've got. I've probably got like 20 or so. Hit the like button, feel free to subscribe and be safe and have a wonderful, wonderful day. That's it. We're done. I win the game. Unless she wins the game. No, 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 no! What? Which our civilization. I was winning that turn! So too shall we return. Oh, no! As the light of our boy fades to nothing, we wonder if one will rise to reach. I literally just said, ah, oh, well, I've won now. What?